Well, the difficulty is clearly based on the level of our opponents. Villarreal are good not just in their own stadium, but also the way they're one of the best teams in the league. They're one of the teams that really understands how to play. They're very strong, and they're very good defensively as well. I repeat, one of the best teams in the league, which is why it's always tough to play against them. In the league, you have to work really hard to be in the position we're in, which we've done, but we have to confirm it. In the Copa del Rey, we have one of the most difficult teams coming up against us, which is Sevilla. And in the Champions League, we're in the quarterfinals. And we're waiting for that match against Atletico Madrid. And we hope to go through. But it all has to be decided. It's great news for us. Despite the fact that it was a tough hit for the team, and especially for Rafinha, his injury in the Champions League this season. Now he's, he's healthy and the months go quickly. Maybe not quickly enough for him. But it's good news for the home stretch of the season, especially for a player as important as Rafinha. Talking about the quarterfinals of the Champions League and knowing the precedents, we know we were going to have a tough opponent like Atletico Madrid. There's positive things about it. We know them perfectly, and both teams do. There's nothing that's going to surprise anybody. I don't think either of the teams wanted to face a team from the same country. But with the number of teams from the same country, both in the Champions League and the Europa League, which is where it also happened, we weren't going to face any easy teams. Last year in the Champions League, we had to beat all the best teams from each European league. And to win the European Championship, you have to beat all the good teams. If we get through, we know who we're going to face. But it doesn't matter. The most important thing is to get to the final. I make all my decisions considering that I'll be the coach of Barca for 150 years. I'm a coach of the club. I make my decisions uh, thinking in, thinking about the club. I don't wait for the summer. I'm already making decisions for next season. I'm always thinking about what's best for the club. And even if I were to leave tomorrow, all my decisions are based on what's best for the club. Coming into the decisive stretch of the season, last year you were in great form physically. How do you see the team this year? I see the team even better this year physically. And it's not just my opinion. I also have uh, the data to back me up. The information tells us about the form of each player. It's not mathematical, but it works for us. And I'm very optimistic. And we're relaxed. We'll see if it translates into results.